Welcome back, everybody. Uh, now, if you saw my first video about what Steam's streaming capabilities were, uh, which was pretty impressive, uh, we talked about uh, what we could do uh, with being able to stream to a Mac computer. You can see my Apple logo up there and uh, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion and the ability that we had to stream that. I asked myself another question. I said, what would happen if we plugged in an Xbox 360 controller and we also wanted to play a game that was a non-Steam game? You can add non-Steam games or even programs to your Steam library anytime you want. So what would happen if we wanted to do that? So I plugged in my 360 controller and I said, let's play Nitronic Rush. As you can see, Nitronic Rush says that it's not compatible with my Mac operating system, which is understandable, it's not. And it's also a non-Steam game. But uh, when I booted it up, amazingly, it launched, uh, which I thought was, again, really impressive. Uh, the Steam um, uh, overlay is still accessible. Holding Shift and pressing Tab allows you to get the Steam overlay. You'll also notice that when you press F6, you're going to get um, some statistics from how your streams are going. Uh, so when you press F6, you're actually going to get uh, some latency information, frame rate loss or drops, packet loss or drops from streaming over the network. Um, you're going to get a nice little graph showing your spikes and non-spikes. Um, so it's actually like kind of nice to kind of keep an eye out on that. I'm not sure if that option will be removable. If you don't want to see that option, I'm fairly sure it will after beta. But it's pretty handy to get a lot of this information when you're doing your streams to see which games are going to be causing those kind of problems. And you see, this is a DigiPen game. Uh, this, this game was free. It comes from DigiPen's website. Uh, it's a fantastic game. If you've ever played it, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, we're not going to do the update on this one because for some reason the update actually breaks the game. I'm not sure why, but... Uh, it doesn't save the information, so I have to set the refresh rate back to 60. And there we go. Um, now again, I'm playing on my Microsoft official 360 USB controller. So keep in mind that uh, I'm not sure if any third-party controllers or even a PlayStation 3 Bluetooth controller uh, with the proper driver on a Mac or even on a PC will work with the streaming technology. But what I can tell you for sure is that this will work on a Microsoft 360 USB official controller. Uh, probably one of the best controllers out there for universal support. Um, I love these things. They work almost all the time, every time, with the most random of devices. So I highly recommend them. So, uh, again, this is a non-Steam game. This was not purchased on Steam. This is not, you know, a free-to-play or anything like that. This comes directly from DigiPen's website from the creators. So this effectively is an app that I just installed myself anytime that I wanted. And that's what this is capable of. Um, now, um, there is some lag and a little bit of delay, and you'll actually see in a bit here uh, some sound cutting out and a lot of frame rate drop at times uh, when I'm doing some crazy stunts and things. Uh, again, understandable when we're doing something as hefty as uh, lots of frame changes, sound effect changes. Um, so again, I'm not terribly too worried considering that all of this is in beta. The fact that I'm able to play this game at all anytime I want uh, without having to reboot into my PC time or even move my laptop or even move myself to my upstairs computer uh, is just amazing and incredible. And keep in mind, this is an app that is not downloadable on Steam. So, which leads me to believe that it's possible that any app that you download would work through this session. So, if there's an app that only works on your Mac and you want to stream it to your PC or vice versa, you'll have that capability. And that's just, again, just really impressive to me. It's simple streaming technology, but the fact is, is that it's cross-platform compatibility with universal controller support baffles me uh, with how simple and how easy it works. So again, I say to Valve, well done. Quit.